Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Melissa and outside of my window right now I'm currently looking at the most beautiful fall leaves. It is a gorgeous crisp fall day um, which is my favorite season and in this beautiful favorite season of mine one of the best things to do when it's chilly outside is watch TV. So we're going to be talking today a little bit about one of the things that I had to research and I thought it might be helpful to share with you. So that is the difference between HBO that you order on Prime and HBO Max. Now, you'd think this would be simple, but uh, these companies, they really like to make it difficult for us. I'm Melissa Ford. Welcome to Damsel of Success, where we talk about all things money, Please be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when I post a new video every single Wednesday. So like I said, I went down the research rabbit hole because I was originally subscribed to HBO through my Prime account, my Amazon Prime account. Um, but um, I saw this thing for HBO Max and I was like, God, what is this new thing? Do I have all the things? Do I get the best deal? Do you know? What is the best way to spend my money? And that is why we're talking about it today. So let me just give you a little backstory here. So HBO has several different versions of their service. In fact, we might call it the many flavors of HBO. So in the past, you might have had HBO through Prime. You might have HBO through Hulu. You might have um, HBO Now, HBO Go, um, or you ha might have HBO through your regular cable service provider or even through AT&T, which owns HBO. However, when they added this new HBO Max, a lot of things changed and they had to negotiate with some of the companies that were providing their service and not all of those negotiations, you know, finished in the way that they can provide HBO Max. So today we're just going to talk about all those things and we're going to start with which HBO do I have again? Because honestly, it's, it's truly not that easy to figure it out. So like I said before, you might have been getting HBO through various services. It might have been called HBO, it might be called HBO Go or HBO Now. Well, what HBO did, and I'm going to see how many times I can say HBO on this episode, like for sure this is an excellent drinking game if you want to get alcohol poisoning, like that's, that's the way this is going to go today. So what HBO decided to do is to consolidate those services into one streaming platform, which is HBO Max. So when they did that, HBO Go went away, HBO Now went away, and they consolidated everything into one of two things. So you either have HBO Max or you have HBO, just regular HBO. And probably the biggest concern, at least as it pertains to this channel, is how much does it actually cost? Or is there a difference in cost of these two services? Well, no. However, there's a value difference, which we're going to get to in a minute. But for right now, everything that I've been able to find shows that HBO is available in both of its forms, HBO and HBO Max, at $14.99 a month. Now, I did hear a rumor and saw a few advertisements for a deal that HBO Max was um, promoting for a while that showed that you could pay $11.99 a month if you paid for a year in advance when you first sign up for HBO Max, or if you're just transitioning from another kind of HBO to HBO Max. However, the way that I signed up, I was not able to do that, so I'm not 100% sure if that deal is still around, but I'm going to put the link where I found the deal in the description below just in case you can access it. So let's get down to the nitty gritty details of why you should choose one service over the other. So first of all is the platforms that HBO and HBO Max are available on. Now, if you have a version of HBO, just HBO and not HBO Max, you're probably watching it on Amazon or Roku or possibly TiVo. Those are the biggest services where there's not an app available, there's not a direct HBO Max option available to you if you're ordering your HBO service through those um, vendors or platforms. And as you can see in this slide, there are several platforms where HBO, traditional HBO, is really not available um, anymore either. So that would include most of the Apple variations of platforms, Chromecast, Samsung Smart TV, Android and Android TV, Hulu, Xbox One, and PS4. 
And do keep in mind that for all of these examples of platforms, there are caveats for a couple of these. In particular, TiVo is um, only available for a legacy version of HBO. I think it's HBO now. So definitely, you know, go in and check this before you sign up for any of these. But um, as a general rule, these are, you know, basically what is included. And pretty much the opposite is true for HBO Max. So in order to get HBO Max, you have to get it through one of these platforms. You either have to access it through an Apple device, through Hulu, through Android TV or an Android device, PS4, Xbox One, Chromecast, or a Samsung Smart TV. So where you cannot get HBO Max would be Amazon, Roku, and TiVo. But as we all know, there are lots of workarounds for how you can watch TV these days. So, you know, a lot of televisions have an option to stream from your phone or from your computer directly to your TV. A lot of people are just watching TV on their phones and their computers nowadays because like, why get out of bed if you don't have to, right? <laughs> so the biggest difference between HBO and HBO Max is that the content offerings are different. All of HBO's standard offerings are available on both HBO and HBO Max. However, HBO Max also offers HBO Max Originals, which are original series developed specifically for HBO Max and not for regular HBO. And they also have a whole lot of content from Warner Media, which includes things like DC Comics, the Criterion Collection Films, CNN, TBS, TNT, and the Cartoon Network. Now, not all of those, you know, channels that, that I've just mentioned, not all of their content is available, but selected content has has been picked up from Warner Media to be shown on HBO Max, but only HBO Max. And because of that, HBO Max just offers a lot more content for the same amount of money. In fact, when HBO Max launched this summer, they offered almost 200 more television shows, not episodes, shows, than regular HBO, and they offered almost 800 more movies than the regular HBO. So that's a big difference. Now, not all of your old favorites from HBO are, you know, just gone from regular HBO. That's not the case. You know, things like Game of Thrones and Westworld and Veep and Last Week Tonight, all of those shows are still on regular HBO and you'll get them regardless of the, you know, version of HBO that you have. But where I can see a really clear advantage um, with HBO Max is they just have more content um, and a lot of fun content too. So shows that they've added to their lineup, for example, are Rick and Morty, that amazing cartoon series. They They've also added Friends, The Big Bang Theory, Anthony Bourdain's show Parts Unknown, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which I've kind of been watching lately, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of fun, it's super fun. Also, if you want me to sing that entire theme song to you, done and done. And particularly their offering of movies in the DC Comics series seems to be a lot greater. So you'll see favorites like the Justice League and Wonder Woman. Um, and in addition to that, they have the entire Lord of the Rings series on there. Um, they've got the Criterion Collection films, which are a favorite of mine. I don't know if you've ever watched them, but they're typically classic movies that are just extraordinary and considered timeless examples of really amazing film. And another benefit of HBO Max over regular HBO is that you can actually download content to your device. So if you have the app on your phone or your computer and you're traveling and you wanna you know, catch some shows or download some shows um, for your trip, that's absolutely an option on HBO. As far as I can tell, there's not actually a max to what you can uh, download there. It's really more a matter of um, how much space you have on your device. So that's a, another great benefit of HBO Max over HBO. So with all of that being said, what is the best investment? Well, for my money, I chose to stop doing my Amazon Prime subscription to HBO and switch over to HBO Max. I have a Samsung TV. I could easily download the app and subscribe through the app um, for the service, which was the same price. And I've got a ton more content and it's super easy to, you know, to watch. So um, I think the best bang for your buck, as long as you are not completely dependent on one of the devices that is not supported by HBO Max, um, is to go for HBO Max because you're getting more bang for your buck. What kind of TV choices have you guys been making like financially these days? We have a lot to decide from and I'm kind of curious what your priorities are. Are you more Netflix or Hulu? Are you, you know, subscribing for some of the premium ones like HBO or Showtime? And if so, where are you getting them from? All of these things affect your overall costs. And I'm just wondering, you know, particularly when we're spending more time at home, um, what's become important to you in your budget as far as entertainment is concerned? 
let me know in the comments below. I'm super curious. I always want to make sure I'm spending my money the most wise way I possibly can, but you know, sometimes it just takes that time to like look into it and decide and not all of us have that time. So hopefully this video will help you make that decision. Um, if you found this content valuable, I'd very much appreciate if you uh, hit the like button. And if you want to hear more about your money life, um, everything from money motivation to investing and planning for retirement, please stay tuned. I would love to have you along for the journey. That's all for now. Have a great week and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.